Hey, this is Paul from Les Mines Guitars, and welcome back to my shop. If you are a subscriber, thank you very much for subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, hopefully after this video, uh, it'll give you a reason to subscribe. Anyway, uh, with that said, today's video is going to be on uh, kind of a new tool. It's not a new tool. I've had it for a little while, but I've incorporated it into my guitar building processes. And that is the CNC. Now, it's the only process I do CNC with is this this little this little process here my CNC is a desktop uh, type of CNC it's small I, I actually use it for making other things I do uh, you know like plaques and stuff like that and so I do other things other than building guitar my furniture I build furniture pieces and I do plaques and stuff like that so it's a nice neat little tool for things like that I decided I wanted to use it for inlay so I have this inlay that I do on my guitars right here, and I'll see if I can get it up close here. It's just something I designed by hand. I used to put two dots, one crisscross from each other, top and bottom. I stopped doing that now. I just do just the plain inlay right there. And that was always a handmade thing. I drew it out and I would I copied it, you know, took a picture of it and I put it on a Word document so that I can print them out. And I could put a little glue on the back of it and stick it down to a piece of inlay and cut it up by hand. I used a jeweler's, uh, jeweler's saw to cut it up by hand. And then I would clean it up with files and sandpaper and stuff like that. And it was never exact the way I wanted to do it, but it was really close. Then when it came to um, inlaying it, I would put a little dab of super glue on the fingerboard. And I would stick it there. And I would trace around it with a scribe. And I'd put a, a scribe mark all the way around the area. Then I would take a Dremel two with a third, I think it was a three thirty second, yeah, three thirty seconds bit, and I would ride it up by hand. And it was etchy. I mean, it was it was, it was so it was so uh, you had to be so perfect with it. And honestly, I've screwed up a few, but uh, you're able to fix it. You make another inlay that's a little bit bigger. But I didn't like that process. It took a long time. It took me hours just to put this little inlay in a fingerboard. So I decided I was going the CNC route. And the CNC route is going to make them perfect. This, this, as a matter of fact, was done with the CNC. So it just fits like a puzzle piece. It's perfect. And I was able to redesign this thing. I used an Inkscape program. And I took a circle, basically. And I manipulated it with the nodes and all that stuff. And I got it to be exactly the way I wanted it. And particularly the ends, I used to have them pointy, and I used to you know, just carve them out with this, the uh, exacto knife in the corners and stuff like that. It was a pain. But now I've got the radiuses just right in the corners <clears throat> so that the 132nd bit in the machine can handle that transition. And I got it where I can make the inlays themselves, and then I can do the pocket. And if, like I said, they fit like a puzzle piece. So I'm going to show you how I do that today. We're going to start out with, I always start out with uh, uh, radius in my fingerboards. And I use it on my radius and jig back here, in the, right back there. And it's like I got it mounted to the apparatus, a swinging apparatus like this here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start a 12 inch radius on this fingerboard. And I'm going to get it pretty close. And then I'll take this back off of this. I'll put it in the CNC machine. I'll, I'll route out the pocket for the inlay and then I'll glue an inlay in and then I'll put it back on this and I'll finish smoothing it out nice and perfect. This way uh, I'm not going to have to worry about uh, sanding and going too far down into the inlay and losing the inlay. I've done that before too. I've made every mistake you could possibly think of building these guitars. So this is the best way I've come up with uh, to making a perfect inlay and it's a simple little inlay, inlay but it only takes me minutes now to do this process with these machines. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into this video. All right, so I've got the neck installed on my machine, the radius machine. And uh, you've seen this before, so I won't, get, I won't explain anything about it. There's another, there's another video out there on it. I'm gonna put a 12 inch radius on this. I'm not going to take it down to the, the final thickness. I'm going to leave a little bit on it. It's going to be 
I'm, I start out with 15 sixteenths on my fingerboards and my final thickness is going to be a quarter inch. So I'm just going to take some off, get close to a quarter inch. I'll take it out of here. I'll put it on a machine, like I said, and I'll put the inlay in and then I'll bring it back to here and we'll finish it off and we'll take it down to a quarter inch. Let's get some dust collection on. Start ready. Really that quick guys. It's probably right on it. Let's check it. Twelve inch, twelve inch radius. I can see right here in this little spot right here, I gotta come down just to here. But the next session will take care of it. But it's right at twelve. And also check the measurements on it. Make sure I'm staying within. Yeah, I barely took much off. About a 30 second off there. Let's check the other side here. I'm trying to keep this thing in the camera view. Yeah, I've got 30 seconds to go on there. All right, so next process is the actual inlay. All right, so here's the inlay going in. Let's see if you can focus on it pretty good. Okay, right in that position. So what I've done is I've marked the center line on the fingerboard. I got 12 fret marked off and I got a center line going across. It's actually not a cent actually centered. The way my program works, it's a 32nd inch up is the start point for my, for my program. So I've got a 32nd inch higher than the center line. And I take my bit and I line it right up on that point. That's my start point. I set the, the, uh, I set the height of it and the zero mark so i zero it out before i do all that i take and jog the machine back and forth on that center line i got i go way up here and i bring it all the way down to here and i stay on that center line so it's center line it runs the center line for a good uh, 12 inches or so and that guarantees i'm going to be i won't be offset it's double stick tape down there's not a whole lot of pressure going on. I do need to get longer screws for my mounting uh, hardware here. And once I get that, I'll be able to clamp it on either end instead of using double stick tape. But double stick tape really works well. So with it set up in a machine like that, uh, I've got the program loaded up. All I got to do is hit go. And this thing's going to start uh, carving that pocket out for this inlay. I do the inlay separate. I can do uh multiples just in one session just get a big enough piece of um, material and it'll cut them all out for me and i've got these pre-made so i've got several sitting around already all right so that's about it here we go i'll speed this up
All right, there you have it. It took uh, seven, almost eight minutes just to do the cavity there. It took me about three minutes to set the thing up in, in here. So, you know, 11 minutes, 12 minutes, whatever. That's, that's pretty fast. That's pretty fast for me. All right. All right, so now it fits like a puzzle piece. And it's just barely below the surface of the fingerboard. So the next pass I do on the radius machine is gonna make it all nice and level. I'll glue that in and we'll do that. I'm also gonna do the dots. I'll do the dot inlays as well. And they'll be <clears throat> the same way. They'll be just, just probably here under so that when everything's said and done, everything's a perfect fit and you don't lose the shell material or whatever material you're putting in it. All right, we're back to the sander. I've got all the dots uh, glued in and we're ready to finish this up. There we go. Keep turning that off so you can hear me. But it's necessary. There we go. That looks good. Perfectly radius. Okay, you know what? There's nothing like the way I do this now. Compared to years ago, man, I was doing everything the hard way. But I didn't have the tooling uh, necessary to, to do it this easy. So I'm fortunate. But uh, this is the way to go. Really fast, really accurate. It's just smooth. I mean, I can't ask for anything better than this. This is a great way to uh, do this part of the build. So if you like what you saw here today, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.